Hey, Jake Roy back here in 90s Ball Cards. So a fun, uh, you know, kind of a traditional product that I've got for you today. So we've got 97, 98 Tops. When this is Series 2, these are hobby packs. Uh, you know, so Tops was a pretty, uh, pretty easy pack to get. Back in the day, kind of a, a classic staple. So uh, let's jump right into it. All right, so here we've got some PC items and we will talk through the odds and some kind of oddities with those. So first off, we have the Minted in Springfield. These are one and nine in series two. So, uh, you know, kind of cool parallel. It's just got the, uh, the logo for the Basketball Hall of Fame, which is in Springfield, Massachusetts. So we've got the penny and everybody's favorite, we've got a Jordan here. So uh, those are pretty cool. Uh, one in nine packs, so you know, good chance of getting one of those. Then we've got the tops 40 at one in 12 packs. So uh, you know, kind of a cool set with 40 of the top players or the 40 top players potentially in the NBA at that point. So we've got Kevin Garnett, we've got Penny, and of course, a Michael. All right, moving along, we've got Clutch Time, which were one in 36, uh, which is kind of surprising for these. It was uh, not a very valuable card. Uh, it still isn't today, but here's a Gary Payton. So kind of a uh, you know, neat little you know buzzer beater, potentially type of shot. And then uh, moving on to the top or the uh, inside stuff. So the inside stuff are also one in 36, and kind of a foil finish on these as well. Uh, so we've got the penny there, and then uh, there's the Jordan. Really nice picture on that Jordan. I, I definitely like that against the Jazz. So nice cards there. And then we have the new school. Again, 1 in 36. These are really cool. Uh, hopefully you can pick up the reflective uh, pattern there. It's kind of almost like the uh, smaller little dot pattern that you see on the, the row uh, 0 from 96.97 Showcase. Uh, so the new school was an all-rookie set. So we've got Antonio Daniels here. He was a rookie in 97 uh, for the Grizzlies. They were in Vancouver at that time. You know, kind of a, a classic 90s jersey and, and short set there. So that was a lot of fun. Then we've got the Generations. So Generations are also 1 in 36. These are kind of a chromium finish with a die cut up at the top. Uh, you know, really nice looking card. Um, and then, you know, we've got Penny. We've got Jordan. So they kind of have... Uh, um, some prone to uh, greening. You can see the, the penny's got some green, but the Jordan is really good. There's there's no real greening that you can see on that one, which is always what you know you want to see. Really cool looking cards there. And then we have the next step up there. So the Generations Refractors, which are one in 144 packs. So you can see, you know, same thing as the Generations, just with a refractor finish on it. Um, you know, this one with Penny does not have uh, really any greening, which is great. And then, uh, you know, if you're questioning whether or not you've got a refractor, you can look right above the number like usual. There's an indication there. So then the oddity that I wanted to share with you is the minted in Springfield. Uh, so, you know, the regular ones here, you've got the bronze stamp and the bronze name. And then, uh, you know, there are some that have gotten out that are gold. So you can definitely see the difference in this penny here. And, um, you know, there's no real definitive answer. There's nothing listed in, uh, you know, Beckett about the difference between the two. So nobody's really sure if it's a printing error, if it was an unintended uh, variation, or if it was an intended variation that, that may or may not be uh, rare. But I've seen these of, you know, Tim Duncan, I've seen Jordan, I've seen Stefan Marbury, Penny, uh, you know, so a number of players that I've seen of these, um, you know, but not really sure uh, the value, if there's any difference in value or the scarcity of these. It's kind of an interesting thing there to be on the lookout when you're looking for yours. And let's uh, crack into the packs. All right, pack number one. We've got Hakeem there on the front. All right, not even going to attempt to say that name. A foreign guy from the Clippers, Calvin Cato, and that's a rookie card. Dennis Scott with the Mavericks. Chris Whitney, the Wizards. Sean Kemp when he moved on to the Cavs. So stuck to the back. Oh, nice, our first hit. Charles Barkley tops 40. Looks like it's in good shape too. Sweet. All right, Matt Geiger with the Hornets. Got everybody's favorite, Christian Leitner with the Hawks. Danny Manning with the Suns. Isaiah Austin with the Heat. 
Derek Fisher in his second year with the Lakers. This is the second time that we've opened packs together. We're the first pack. You pull an insert. Yeah, I mean, hey. Since the only other time we've done this, you got the Matumbo Triumphant. <laughs> I think it's good luck. I think we need to do this more often. Jake, me personally, I got tillaged in those packs. <laughs> so this might not bode well for me. <laughs> Charles Brandon, Crozier, Crozier Tim Thomas. Tim Thomas is a rookie. Oh boy. I think Chris Whitney's a rookie too. Blake Vaught, Michael Finley, Finley Chris Weber. Coo Coach, of course. There you go. Oh, nice. Avery Johnson with the uh, printing of that got sealed in the pack. Oh, jeez, I hate that. <laughs> oh, here's a penny. Sweet. Nick Van Axel, Eric Snow. That stinks with Avery. That's really surprising that that's the only one in the middle of the pack. I know. Affected by that. It's really weird. All right, number three. Jacques Vaughn rookie. Keith Van Horn rookie. We're doing good with rookies. None of the rookies. None of the besides Duncan. <laughs> this is a fact. John Thomas is a rookie, I believe. Eric Dampier. 96. Jimmy Jackson. Tim Hardaway. Doing good with Hardaways. Come on. Hey, there we go. Everybody loves Michael. Armin Gillum. John Starks in the same pack with Michael. And Isaiah Ryder. I can never beat MJ. <laughs> Only rivalry to him, all right? <laughs> as much as I'm not a fan of the Knicks, John Starks was fun to watch. Yeah, he was. Well, for a couple years anyway. Yeah, Carl Malone, Jeff Hornacek, Aaron Gillum, Sandra, Scotty Pippen tops 40. Hey, nice. Beat the odds. Right. Twice over. Uh, Booth, Smokey Walker, Ron Mercer, Jim Jackson, Derek Anderson. All right, last pack. No pressure. Because we destroyed the odds already. I want a clutch time, Jordan. That's what I want. First Childs. Nick Van Exel. Another penny. Hey, okay. Mookie. This is Johnny Taylor, rookie. Yeah, it's a rookie. Okay. Johnson, Paul Grant, Phillips, rookie. Here we go. Chris Mullen, Chris Weber, Jerry Stackhouse. All right, so you saw we pulled. You know, we really crushed the odds. We uh, we had eight packs. We pulled two tops forties, which were both one in twelve packs. So. You know, you'd expect that with you 24 packs, but we only had eight, so really phenomenal. And we did really well with the stars. We got, you know, Kobe, we got Jordan, we got two pennies. Uh, we also got a bunch of rookies, including Chauncey Billups and, and T Mac. So really phenomenal couple of packs. Can't be can't be mad at that. So uh, question of the day for you guys is: We talked a little bit about the uh, the difference in these minted in Springfield. We've got the uh, the bronze, and then we've got the gold one here. So really, I'm passing the question off to you. What do you know about these? variations in the Minton in Springfield. Is there any sort of known scarcity that you're aware of or any stories that you know? Uh, you know, I've heard some people speculate that it could have been a printing era um, or it could have been that, you know, the bronze ink ran out, which uh, which sounds like might not be too likely, but I'm not really certain. So love to hear from you if you know any information about these gold versus bronze minted in Springfield. Uh, so as always, thanks for watching these videos and discussing our passion in this hobby. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New videos will drop on Wednesdays. Any bonus videos will drop on Fridays. And we'll talk later. Thanks. Josh, crushing it.